Hello? Are we live? Is this thing on? I think it's on. We're on. Hi, Cass. What's happening, hen? How are you, buddy? I'm fantastic. A little bit tired. A little bit tired, but good. Tell, no, in fact, before we get any further, hi, good evening, and welcome to the Rusha and Shaban show. It's good to have you with us. I have to say, please like, please subscribe before we go any further. Yeah, please do, because you're desperate. Do you know, I don't it? care about being desperate. Do you know, it's not even mm. being desperate. It's just, I am who I am. I like what I like. I know what I want. What's that got to do with likes and subscribers? I just know I would like more likes, please. <laughs> right, OK. I, I went into right. the analytics. Mm -hmm. 20,000 of you are returning, but only 13,000 of you subscribe. So that's my You've plea. You've got to think, from their point of view, maybe they think it's already following you. Do you think that? Why would, that? It be, why would it be already following me? It's like, what, do you know what I mean? Like... Were you ever at school and you liked somebody but you couldn't say because they were a gimp? So you didn't want to say? <laughs> that's not nice. I'm just saying that's what it might be like for people, so you need to take that on board. I was a proper gimp at school. You were a gimp. You are now still. You, know, you tell your mum everything. It's embarrassing. What's My mum will probably be watching this because she doesn't do much else, but watch her YouTube. So hi, mum. Watch her um, YouTube. Bye. You were a gimp, weren't you? Bit of a gimp. I remember um, telling mum that Rogan and Rusha had been kissing boys. That was embarrassing for everybody That involved. didn't last long, did it? Didn't last Dwayne. long for you at all, didn't it? Dwayne. I remember, like, when you and Brogues were like, kiss the boy, I used to go to bed and pray for you. Jesus I'm not Christ. kidding, I used uh -huh. to pray. I used to think you were going to end up, like, age 10 and pregnant or something. I pray and... for you now because you're an absolute freak, honestly. <laughs> um, I still do pray. I still do pray right. sometimes. <laughs> But more now, like, please don't let Russia get the jail kind of thing. Oh, please don't let this lesbian stay under my roof too long. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's another prayer mm -hmm. that we're having. Jamie and I yeah. pray on that together. Yeah. Sometimes we just hold each other's hands and but go... Your, your kids don't turn up gay. I've What's noticed that I don't that? get to see... What? What, what, because you're there? Aye. <laughs> mm -hmm. The gay rubbing off That's on the it. old niece and nephew. You kind of redeemed yourself later on in life because, um, weirdly, I was doing my... I was on the bike earlier. I don't know what happened all day and... I, I put into my Spotify, GBX, and some tunes came up and I had a good wee time with myself. And then I put them on when I was on the bike and it takes me back to when you were DJing. You were a DJ, weren't you? So was I, DJ Nainchi, but that's a different story. DJ Nainchi. But um, you were and I in the clubs, in the dancing, it's, in the tune. It's funny because Alan... <laughs> bangers. <laughs> and I could actually mix, by the way. Mm. Anybody who thinks I'm a one-trick pony, you're wrong. Give me a like for the fact that I can actually get up and DJ on Pioneer Decks. Not many people can do that now because they can mix on Spotify and all the likes. Mm. I actually used to beat match and mix up the club. Right. But Alan and Ali mm -hmm. were talking about this on Talksport Breakfast this morning. They were like, yeah. what's that club she used to DJ in again, that one? What is that one called again? And I'm like, the tunnel, guys. The tunnel. tunnel. Friday night residency at the mm. tunnel. That was where the magic used to happen. It was. Then And then I... I just couldn't. It's amazing how life changes. Yeah. Like, I what am I like? Seven o'clock on the couch, glass of wine, kids are down. That's me happy. Yeah. Whereas I used to like be heading out at midnight. We used to go. It was late. You would go out back in the day. It was late. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, sack that. I used to coming home at that time. Finish up <laughs> work. <laughs> Excuse me. It's the cook. See you know. <laughs> I love how you do it so innocently. Mm. I'm so sorry that just, so sorry. that just came over me. I'm such a bad naughty, girl. naughty girl. Bad. Apparently, it makes people turn off though. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not really. I couldn't give a shite. <laughs> um, but excuse me. Um, DJ Shaban, hello Linda, how are you? Yes, you know the case. Uh, lots of people in the comments already. We're going to get to them very, very soon once Rusha goes off in a tangent. Um, but for now, we've got a few things that we need to focus on because I want to talk about Chelsea and the idea of a quadruple. I want to speak about the FA Cup because the draw has been done. Right. And also... We want to branch into the old NWSL. NWSL. What's right. wrong with you? Why have you got... Oh, my back's dead tight, so I've got a hot water bottle. Just try to help me. But it's scalding me right now. Sorry. Can I have a Game bit time. just till it cools down? Because I've got a bit of cramp. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I tell everyone what happened to me today? Yeah, what happened? Right, so I had... Short. I didn't short. Not, not today. Have you ever shorted? <laughs> Probably, but not in a long time. <laughs> Bloody mm. hope so. <laughs> Have you told everyone that you used to wet the bed until you were about 16? 
Um, wasn't 16, I was like, even after that, I was like, later than that, it was terrible. Seriously. I've really trained myself. I now have a cut off time, nine o'clock at night, and I don't drink fluids. I might really? like sip a bit of water here or there, but like, give me sips. But I have just sat with that, just go to sleep and just wake up covered in piss. <laughs> <laughs> so. You, like, the kids are four and a half. Mm-hmm. And since they've been trained, you've had an accident more than they've had an accident. Probably I was um, back in Glasgow there and staying with my mum's up in the loft. That was where I... The, the loft room. The, Google, the good old loft. But I said to her, I was like, oh, I feel like they're sitting on under the the mattress. I was like, but I'm pure sweaty. I feel like I'm getting dead warm. She was like, oh, is it, is it um, the, the plastic sheep? And I was thinking, she put that on for me? Because I don't really pish the bed anymore, but... How long has it been? When, did, when was the last one? You must remember the last wet the bed. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, I think I had one maybe last year, but it was just one, and I think it was alcohol related. But I don't really pee the bed when I'm drunk, weirdly. <laughs> I'm very good at that. You're an absolute shambles. I know, I know. Like, seriously, I'd, it looks like now you uh, will be stuck with me forever. Now you've just yeah. outed this story. Mm-hmm. I've pissed the bed with a few people on it before and all. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh my word. Yeah. What can no. you do? I remember, like, being young and, like, Every morning you've been like, Mum, I've wet the bed. Well, it wasn't one. I used to just have to go and get a towel and I'd put a towel, I'd strip the bed and then put a towel down and sleep on the towel and hope I didn't piss over my duvet. Did, see, when you were like young and you'd go off on international duty in camps, like, how did you deal with that? Oh, it was a stress, I'll tell you that. Was I'd that? T- yeah. But I bet it was stressful for anybody who does have accident issues. Yeah. You were a deep... What did the doctor say? You just... Did you say I was a deep sleeper and a heavy pisser? That's it. <laughs> um... But yeah, that was it. But yeah, it took me it took me a long time, but I got there. But now I can just own own my stuff, just own my shit, just be honest and open and deal with it. That's what it is. You spend you spend mm-hmm. too long in life being embarrassed about silly stuff. Yeah. Like I, I wish I hadn't spent time worrying about things that I can't fix instead of just going, oh well, you've got to like own your it. breath, like my breath. You should worry about that. Cause I don't have a, I don't have a stinky breath. Okay, <laughs> piss the bed over there. Anyway, big honky tonk up, honky tonky monkey. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm I'm at peace with that. Anyway, sorry. I think you're talking about the fixture. Lottie said, it's back. My body doesn't wake up in the night to pee. I wake up in absolute agony. See, I'm the same. Like sometimes, I wake up after a great sleep, and the first thing is that I'm like, I, there's a pain. I'm like, I need to pee so badly. Really? But how come I've never I've never like managed to let go kind yeah. of thing in your sleep? But that's good. That's good. Me and you, Lottie. Me and yeah, you. Well done. Um, Congrats. Claire saying, I'll take her off you, Shaban. There's another one. Kylie, yeah. I'll take her off your hand, Shaban. Amelia's, uh, Amelia says, you look like the kind of person to do that, Rush. As in piss the bed. Plastic sheet. A lot of people laugh and eat a plastic sheet. Yep. And also, by the way, if you're asthmatic, plastic sheets are good for you because it keeps the dust off. Oh. Fun tip. I still have a plastic sheet too. Keeps the dust off the pish. <laughs> You're horrendous. Anyway, we're eight minutes in and mm-hmm. we already know some fun facts more about Rusha and Cleese. Case you didn't know, she used to wet the bed all the time. Right, where do you want to start? Do you want to start with Chelsea Quadruple? Do you want to do the FA Cup first? Shall we do the FA Cup? Hey. Because the, the, the draw is actually quite interesting. Firstly, congratulations to tel- Chelsea, Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur and Leicester. The draw has been done and it's Chelsea against Manchester United and it's Spurs against Leicester. Mm. So Spurs or Leicester are getting a trip to Wembley. Yeah. That's quite cool, isn't it? I mean, that sounds a bit rude to you. That's quite cool, isn't it? That's, that's, the, beauty the, that's the beauty of the cup. <laughs> like, one of, them mean, got, one of them have got a chance of getting to Wembley. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's. A, I mean, they'll talk to her out, aren't they? Yeah. Or, yeah, they'll... I mean, I'm looking at that fixture going... God knows who's winning that. But I think Spurs are starting to play a bit better football right now. Uh, but I was surprised with the Leicester Liverpool uh, score. Yeah. But credit to Leicester, obviously a lot going on there, and obviously the girls all got together and done the job, done the business. And Chelsea, man, you again, you're just kind of going, man, you. It's a chance of getting some silverware here. I, think, I, I don't know what the um, Courtney Cup is. It's Arsenal. And that's oh shit. Chelsea, Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. Is it's that... a repeat of last season's final? That's the Connick Cup. End of May. End of May. Oh, sorry, end of March, and then the end FA Cup finals the twelfth of May. Right. Okay, I'm with you. Connick Cup finals. Yeah, so United's United, United chance of getting some kind of silverware. Would that be good then for Mark Skinner, like based on how far off the top they are, to win 
a trophy like the FA Cup, is that a good season? I don't know if it's a good season. I think they would like to be in the mix a lot more. They'd like to be closer in points and mm. I know they're, they're sitting fourth, but what's her nine points or no is six it, points? 11 or, points off, aren't they? Is it, yeah, 11 points off the top. Can't what is points the off the top of my head. But, um, Sorry, I keep knocking the mic. You knock the mic, I mean, you knock the yeah, mic. Yeah, obviously winning an FA Cup is a... It's a massive. It's a big day. It's a massive day out at Wembley, and it's only it's only getting bigger. Um, so it'd be great for them. But I think league wise, they would have been looking to do better. Obviously, they've brought in a few signings and stuff. Um, but something's not happening with them. Um, I think losing their assistant was obviously a big loss to them, and they've probably not really recovered from that. Wait, who? But uh, their own assistant coach. Um, oh yeah, he went to the Champions League club, uh, Brand. Yeah, Norway. Norway. Yeah. Norway yeah. Mm-hmm. So Martin, I think they've not, they've, Martin, they've not really him. maybe replaced him. Um, but yeah, with the quality in that squad, they need to be doing better. So we wouldn't say a great season, but if you get a trophy there at Wembley, you would be pretty happy you could end on a high. Let's say that. So Manchester United are fourth on the table on 25 points. Chelsea are top on 37 points. So Cass... 27, 28, 29, 30. No, Cash, you've gone wrong already. So they're on 25 points. 25, oh, 27, 27, 25, 27, 28, 30. <laughs> you know that's just so Chelsea on 37 points and Manchester United on 25 points so how many are they off it I basically told you earlier 12 yeah so 25 plus 10 yeah. would be 35 plus 2 would be 37 right. brilliant <laughs> she still pushes the bed and she doesn't know basic basic arithmetic <laughs> Spectacularly, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Easy for me, mm. eh? Um, oh, your math never fails to amaze me. Um, we need to do a little maths quiz we one day, actually, for you. No, the next it's one. not funny. That is funny. It's not funny. It's, it's, funny. Not, funny. it's, it's not funny. It's, it's great. Shit, it's chat. Pure genius. Um, don't care. Okay. <laughs> don't get angry at yourself. I'm not you angry. are. You're getting angry. Punch your face. Have, have a glass of wine. Let's just start again. Have a sip. <laughs> right, let me refresh. Hold on. I have a question. Would you rather win? Not that you're in the run for either, but mm. would you rather win the Quant Cup or the FA Cup? FA Cup. Because it's just a richer history and all that. I Quant Cup's like the Diddy Cup. What no, friends call it? The Diddy Cup. The Diddy Cup? Yeah. Can you say that about silverware when you've not oh, no, touched I'd, a trophy? I'd snatch your hand off for it, of course. But for these big teams, they'd rather the FA Cup. Yeah. It's, it's more about that. It's more. Uh-huh. It's a prestigious trophy. Yeah. Rich in history. Yeah. The beauty and the magic of yeah. the FA Cup. Okay, fair enough. I think everybody what else shite would question, um, honestly. Um, yeah, would you no. rather leave the house without brushing your teeth in the morning or brushing your teeth? <laughs> that's making well, sense. Well, then that's just like I'm giving you two, two options here of silverware. <laughs> um, mm. I'm trying to think of like a good, good um, would you rather question kind of thing. Would you rather? Like for uh, football kind right. of thing. Mm-hmm. But would you rather Manchester United won? No, it doesn't make sense. You can't do right. it you because move, you're move not. Move it on. Move it right, on. So who wins? Who wins the FA Cup then? Because we don't know because we don't even know who's in the final yet. No, Cass. I know, but Chelsea against Manchester United. Who gets the job done here? <sighs> uh, see, I'm only looking one way. I'm seeing this another trophy for Emmys. I don't think Manchester United have done enough this season. Mm. They're a great squad. But it's I like a, Mark. It's Skinner. a cup game. It can happen. Do you know what I mean? It's. A, it's a, uh, but I'm going to stick with Chelsea right now just because. Oh. Just because. I was looking at that downstairs. It was popping on. I was meant to I say. I know. It's, it's just a really lovely shirt. But I mean, it was I'm weird because we're carrying a bit away. These, these rolls were hanging out. And I was like, is that part of the top? But yeah. There's not rolls. No, there's rolls. <laughs> okay. A few rolls. That's the bed. Right. Let's just go for a Chelsea Spurs final. That's what Chelsea we're going for. Chelsea Spurs final. <sighs> that would yeah. be unbelievable. To be fair, I'd like to see Spurs at the FA Cup final. Yeah, I'd like to yeah. go. Yeah. 12 for me. Yeah, lock that in the old diary. Diarism. I don't, I might, I, I'm, no, I won't be. So much I won't be making me. that, yeah. Won't be making that. Because there's the FA Cup final. I'll watch it. You should watch it. We could do a watch along. If I'm here. Why, we're right, we're I might you? not be here. Where are you going? I don't know yet. What, Cassie, you need, you live with me. I need the information. I think I've got a hen party then, but I need to go through everything. Who's getting married? Uh, Remy Allen. Ish. Yeah. Are you allowed to go on your manager's hen? Uh, yes. Does she know yeah. that you're gone? 
No. I, I don't want to answer any more questions about this because I might slip up. Right. Does she know the date? Because now she might know the date. Yeah. Can I come? I'm just going to tie her up and Can I take, take her hostage on her hen. Never know. That that could be fun. Mm-hmm. Could be. That could be fun. Yeah. Oh, just imagine the chaos in that hen. No, seriously though, can I come? <laughs> no. Why it's would very you? Nice. That's not very nice. That's not very nice. That's not very nice. That's what Brooke says to me now when I mm. when I have to tell him off. He'll go, it's not very nice. And I'm like, yeah, well, do what you're told then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cheeky bum. Okay, I've been told to leave you alone. Maths is hard. Thank you. 37 minus 25. Oh, I'm not, not sure about that. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's talk about the idea of Chelsea winning a quadruple because the Champions League, top of the league... Fighting on all fronts for now. Okay, they're struggling with injuries. But I see it, Cass. What did you say? Chelsea. Look at you, you're already... I can tell you're going back in time trying to think about what you've already said about the Hendo. No, what were you saying? What were you thinking about? I don't know. I was just zoned out for a second. I'm thinking about Chelsea winning a quad. Right. A quad? Doesn't sound right, does it? Emma Hayes has won a quad before, you know. Since I don't like that, a quad. A quadruple. Right. That's better. Tell me you knew quad meant quadruple. Yeah, but you just said a quad sounds weird. I knew it wasn't right. That's what it you would say, though. weird. Like Chelsea won a quad. I've won a quad. A quadruple, then. What about my hamstring? And I knew you were probably thinking that kind of way. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah. It's cool, but it's like... It's a lot, though. It's... You're, Come have on, they got the depth? Uh huh. Another injury? Did somebody go off injured the other day again? Have I made that up? What game am I thinking of? Yeah, you're right. Uh, Ramirez. She That's went right, off, didn't yeah. she? And so did uh, Guru writing. So was Guru. So you're going, ooh, mm. what's going on here? Is, are, are they okay? Well, yeah. So it's getting to that business, business end of the season. And they're still in the Champions League, do you know? So it's Cass. like, Honestly. sweet baby Jesus. It's brilliant, though. Yeah. It's absolutely yeah. brilliant. I mean, mm. Looking ahead to the future of Emma Hayes and her leaving here, I think to be at this stage of the season and still be in all four competitions with a very strong chance of winning them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's credit to her and her squad. Missing Millie Bright though too. You know, yeah. The end. yeah. How good was Erin Cuthbert the other night though? Quality. I thought she was unreal. I mean, I, I, do you know what? I was getting people replying shite to me like again on Twitter and I'm thinking... Okay, you're about 12 years old, but that's not the point. Yeah, but, it's just um, a number. I don't know how people can argue when somebody's had a good game. But there was a few good players on the pitch that night. There was a few, obviously, a Hannah Hampton had a great game. Hmm. But in terms of, I think we did say watching that game, like Man City dominated possession and did a lot of chances. They should have scored. They should have scored. But I don't think there's anything the same with, I think Erin Cuthbert was the best player on the pitch. Hmm. She was everywhere. The amount of ground she covered, she was just, yeah. Oh, she was all over the gaff, so what a player. Yeah. So, yeah, what Very a, what a game so. she had, yeah. Also that Kat Macario. Right, so I've not seen much of her. Cause, but guess she just had her debut. Yeah, but before that, I mean, and like before right. that, she's not the just days, been born and landed on a Chelsea pitch, <laughs> do you know what I mean? She has, she's been there the whole time. Uh-huh. uh-huh, she's waiting there. But what a story, and then to come on, in her first two games for Chelsea, she scored goals mm-hmm. too. So obviously Emma Hayes has good options Mm -hmm. and it seems like everyone will run through brick walls for her. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Good luck to them, Cass. It's Mm -hmm. exciting. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Do you ever think you'll get the call Uh, up? I don't know. I heard she was still looking to see if I've got an American passport. (laughs) So. Doubt that very Mm. much. I wonder who's going to replace her. You can let us know your thoughts in the comments. I mean, who replaces Emma Hayes? You know... It's just one of those things. I don't know. Still not any further. Need, yeah, there's a, there's obviously a few managers out there like out of jobs right now, but who comes in to what? that? <coughs> Only mm-hmm. obviously Sonia Bonpastor mm-hmm. was the the rumor for quite some time. Mm-hmm. Apparently, a deal no, but was there was being... someone else there that they were shouting about. Ah, uh, she was she German. Another German. Who See, was somebody it? puts in the comments. Um. um yeah, Leo manager Bon Pastor was the main link, Sonia Bon Pastor, but it's a it great was, name, isn't it? I swear there was someone else that's been floating about. But Sonia Bon Pastor. But yeah, I think like that, I don't, I don't even care right now. Like, I'm just like, let, let's focus on story. Emma. I know, but I don't care right now. I'm just like, let's focus on Emma. I'm sure they're obviously working hard in the background because they'll want to have somebody coming in that they know 
can hopefully step up to the plate and replace mm-hmm. her. Mm-hmm. Um, but and she she'll be one that to happen too. Like she won't she'll be. She's probably the one that's got a bit of the say in this. Going, yeah. this it has to be this person because they have to have her vision and be. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't think she's just going to go. I get someone shite in to replace me because I don't care. I'm off. It's going to be. Do you know what I mean? She's leaving it in the best environment yes, that uh-huh. she wants to leave it. I'm, I'm pretty sure she will do that. So she's probably going. Look, it's not happening right now. It's not right. So don't rush it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very very good point. Um, you can let us know who you think might win the. FA Cup final, like we say, it's Chelsea against Manchester United in the semi-final and the other semi is Spurs against Leicester. So good opportunity for Spurs and Leicester. Again, with no disrespect, but for so many years it's Arsenal <coughs> and Chelsea dominating the FA Cup mm-hmm. finals for so long and then Manchester United got to the final last time round. So there's a chance for them again. Um, but I just, I can't see it really any other way. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I really can't. Um, how's life at London City? So no, I've not been in. <coughs> um, what happened today? You guys had a nightmare journey? The rain? Yeah, we got um, two days off there, which was nice. So the last day we were in was Saturday, and then we had Sunday, Monday off, heading in today. And there was, I think, a few accidents on M25. Before we left, we knew um, there was a bit of traffic. Anyway, we got in the car, our usual meet-up spot, headed off hmm. down the road, and we were in the car for... I think we'd been in the car for a good hour and ten minutes, and then we had bad traffic and we were just sat there. And then we looked again and it was basically like two hours and 30 minutes, Cass. That's a nightmare. Two hours and 30 minutes. I was in the car for two hours and 20 minutes. Were you? Yeah. yeah. Going, Going nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere <sighs> quick. Jinx. Mm. So that was that. Came home and had a bike session. Nice. And then who made dinner? You made dinner. I was going to. I said, who emptied the dishwasher? You. Who's hung up your washings and all? Don't Thanks even start that. Oh, it's washing. the washing. Yeah, don't stop. It doesn't don't stop. stop. It really doesn't. It just doesn't. Mm-hmm. Like, some days I'm like, geese a break. And then I'm away for the next few days because I'm going to Cheltenham. With Any work. tips? Pardon me. That was me. That time. Am I allowed to bet on horses? Um, I can't really remember. You can't bet on games, I, I don't mean, know. I can't do games, but I know it's like, how I'm not going to be influencing horses, no, of course you I? can. Yeah, footballers yeah. betting horses all the time. Yeah, of course you can. Bet horses, yeah. Yeah, no, I think you can. That's right. Right, was, well, any tips? Do something them. useful, Cass? Um, well, Constitution Hill was the favourite. Constitution Hill? Bet dropped out. God love it. Oh, God. Got an infection. Oh. I know. Um, Willie Mullins, any any horse that Willie Mullins has got, he's the, like, legendary. I'm just trip. looking for horses, Cass. So just give me the name. No, I, what you have to do oh, is look at the bets. Search. Trainer, Winnie, mm-hmm. Willie Hullin. Mm-hmm. No, man, Winnie Hullin. Winnie? Willie? Willie uh-huh. Mullin. Willie Mullen. His horses are the horses. And do right. you know a fun fact? Nee. Toot, toot. <laughs> Very Sorry. good. Stop horsing around. Oh, yeah. Wait. Ding, 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 ding. Anyway, there was two six foot four jockeys today at Cheltenham. Six foot four jockeys. I guess there's ever been. Normally four foot six, isn't they? Five foot two is Ooh, the average height right. of a jockey. By the way, um, on learning stuff, I gave you those books by the suffragette. Aye, your kids' books. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kiss clearly will work nicely for you. I'll Just probably help you out to reading them. Well, um, thanks for everybody in the comments and the International Women's Day video that mm-hmm. I, I'd done with you on my channel because um, actually I'd got it wrong. It was another suffragette who'd run out in front of the horse. So who was it? <clears throat> Wilson, her name was em- Emily Wilson. No. So not Emily Pankhurst? So Emily Pankhurst and the other lady was Wilson. Oh God, I've forgotten her name. That's bang right, order. Well, but anyway, thank you for your messages on that. And then it's good that you took that into to enlighten us again. But I knew a lot more about those facts. And Emily Pankhurst mm-hmm. was the leader of the suffragettes. Right. But anyway, Rusha again knew nothing about any of this. I did because my dad had told me once a woman ran out in front of a horse. So I knew that I didn't know her name. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that's a story for another time. Yeah. Where was I going with that? Conf- oh, we were talking about horse racing. Right. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I'm I'm at Cheltenham tomorrow, first mm-hmm. thing. I'm leaving at half two in the morning. God save me. And I'm going to drive up there, and I'm there for a few days. So hopefully I come home in one piece. Stay away a bit longer, I guess. Honestly. Well, then It'd be you funny if you went up there and just get kicked by a horse. You lifted the hospital and stuff like that. <laughs> 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 Story like that. <laughs> Hi, it's me. Yeah, I've been back, been back footed by a horse. Right, and where are you now? I'm in the chopper. I'm in the chopper. 
the drama always surrounds me, doesn't it? Yeah. There's always something on me, yeah. to be fair. Like, always. A You're a bit annoying, aren't you? A wee bit, aye, to be fair. Do you want this back yet? If you've done it for now. Right, Hi. what else are we talking about? Hurry up, I'm getting pure cold. <coughs> We're here for can't a while. To get We're bed. here for how a while. How long have I been on this for? Yeah, what, you can't down, where, I'm sorry, where else have you got to be? Just tell me how long you've been busy for. racing everybody along. It's 25, 25 minutes. 25 minutes? <sighs> where have you got to be? My bed. Why are you so tired? You've had a day off. You've done nothing. It's not true. I want to watch an episode of but my bed. Just everybody out there working her doing Getting good work. Getting out your bed and just putting on an episode. It's bloody great. What are you watching? Uh, I've got the last episode of Kin to watch. Oh, I've heard it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. You probably not be like, oh, so dangerous. <laughs> oh, don't want my kids growing up in this kind of environment. What? Um, what is that about them? Uh, it's like based in Dublin. And it's about a family, it's a gangster family. Right. Um, but it's good, it's good to watch, Cass. Speaking of um, Dublin, did you hear uh, Big Killian Murphy won the Oscar? Aye, he's Bobby was Dublin. <laughs> Gucin. <laughs> yeah. People what don't know what Bobby means here. Oh, yeah. Bobby is your penis. So they go, um, a chat up line. Go do the chat up line properly. Oh, hold on, how's it go again? Um, are you Irish? Are you Irish? Because my Bobby's Dublin. <laughs> Or, because my Willie's Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm genuinely need to get a grip. Anyway, um, yeah, other things we need to talk about is the NWSL. Uh, so we need to get into that. And mm. I had one challenge for you in the last couple of days, and that was, was to get us up to speed on things for the NWSL. Well, I sent you a link earlier about the NWSL. Are you copping out? From ESPN. Who's your who's your who's your NWSL team? Oh, who's going to be your NWSL team? Because okay, well, one. I'm going to go with North Carolina just because Denise. Oh, courage! Yeah, North that's, Carolina. That's courage. me doing um, Denise's Denise accent. Like courage, that. courage. She's from Cork Girl. Cork so Girl. North Carolina courage, courage. North Carolina her, courage. Her accent's all over the gaff right now because she's been in that. She's got a bit of American in yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, I, I, you're distracting me. Right, there, go I on. sent you this. Cass, don't send me the link. Tell me about the league. <laughs> There's 14 teams in it. Mm -hmm. Two teams have come in. I know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Bay, mm -hmm. FC, who Jenny beat is away. It's the new, and new team. Utah Royals are back. They've been there before. Uh -huh. Already knew that. Um, exciting things happening. Um, Rachel Kundundanji has signed for Kundin Bay. Kundundanji. Kundundanji. Uh, and Barbara Banda. Um, and I'm familiar with them too because we played against them in summer before we headed out to the World Cup. Barbara Band has got a pride, um, and they've both oh, gone for record big numbers. Big dollar bills, they? big dollar bills. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So my team is. I'm just going to go with Denise's team because I know Denise and come on the courage. Okay, fair enough. I think I'm going to go with um, a bit of B. I'm just going to hop on the the new franchise, the new team, and start from scratch. <laughs> Um, also, Ashwala's there too. Yeah. And I think she's mint. I think she's so good. She's a handful, that's um, for sure. For sure. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy watching her. And then also, I think that seeing a team start from scratch brings in new eyes. It brings in, it's, it's like the start of something special. Yeah. It's something new. And so it starts on Saturday. Yes, it does. Saturday. Um, if anyone out there could kindly send us um, a link that we can watch the highlights and stuff like that, because um, I don't know the time difference, so I don't think we'd really get to see many games. Yeah. In my busy schedule, so wouldn't mind catching up some of the highlights. <laughs> Courage, pure nom. Um, Dublin can't claim Dillian, Killian Murphy. Is he not from Dublin? Mm, no. Is he from Cork? No. Is he from is Cork? He Cork? Like? I think he might be from uh -huh. Cork. Maybe he is from Cork. Um, so yeah, Killian Murphy is Cork. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I got it wrong. But you know what I mean. It's it's the same place, really. He's I'm Bobby's, joking. He's Bobby still Dublin, right? Cash, you can't be talking about people's Bobbies like that. Do you know he's forty-seven years old? I know. He looks wonderful, but think about Peaky Blinders. How old is that? It's not that old, is it? I loved Peaky Blinders. Peaky must have been filmed what at least eleven years ago now. Was it? Rishi, it must have been because how many seasons were there? I don't know. Life is just going by in a blink. It really is. It's <sighs> flying by. Damn right about that. 2013 um, Peaky Blinders started. Gotham is my team. That's from Tony. Um, Gotham. Gotham. Um, lots of you getting involved with the teams that we should be looking out for. It's a shame Jen has gone to be, as I think her and Rue would make the perfect couple. Jess saying that. You two go way back, though. Like, you can't... That's, yeah. Maybe she could be your 
If you are both single when you're 40, maybe. Just come back together and just... I feel like Beats would probably rather set herself on fire. Than get with you? Than get with me. This is true. But <laughs> I've never seen her. Just imagine. Sorry, Rue, I'm going to say no and I'm mm-hmm. just going to go and set myself on fire. <laughs> mm. uh, I saw Jamie Finn got her wee operation too. Yes. Her wee pictures up. God love her. She'll be back. She'll be back. She oh, definitely will. Hospital bed. I know. She'll Bless be her. not a baller. She'll be back. Back so, in no time. So who do you think is going to win the NWSL league then? I just said who I'm backing. But who do you think is going to win? Well, I don't know. That's what, I thought that's what that question was. Right, so I said so I'm going to stick with... Who won uh, last season? Um, well, it's weird. It's not a league. It's weird because I think that's fine. Hmm. Um, it's very complicated. I don't really understand that. Um, but it was Gotham. It wasn't Gotham. <laughs> it was... Um, it was Gotham. Oh, it was Casey Stoney's team, wasn't no, it? No, it was Gotham. So Gotham... Oh, uh, they Gotham won the... Playoff thing. The, yeah, the, the cup. but that's the thing, isn't it? That's the the big I, thing. I mean, we really need to do the our championship. Research. The championship. We need to get Leanne Sanderson on to the championships finals. Somebody tell us. So that some, you can win the league and then you're going to play off. So what's the point in winning the league? I don't know. It's another competition, I think. Yeah, I'm not really up to date with it. I don't really if, get if it. If you're so. American watching this and you want to just like get, start ripping your ears off and your eyes out, apologies, mm-hmm. but you can let us know. It's very different. Things are done very different here in the football world. Mm. So it's very complicated for me. Oh, there's lots of Gotham fans in the chat putting little bats in there, so they must call themselves the Bats. The Gotham Bats. Bats, yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's something to do with Batman? Because he was in Gotham, Gotham. wasn't he? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because Gotham isn't a place, is it? Gotham's in, like... Uh, yeah, Gotham is in... Um, Gothenburg? Where's Gothenburg? Gothenburg. What? Gothenburg. That's nothing to do with it. Gotham is a place, Rush. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It was fake and... Batman. Oh, shit. Who knows? Where is Gotham? I don't know. I don't really know much, to be honest. Gotham. It was a show. Yeah, I remember Gotham show. Gotham TV show. What city is Gotham in real life? New Jersey. Gotham City is traditionally deps- deposited. Deps- Deposited. What the fuck is that? Depicted. Who's that? Jesus. <laughs> Gotham City is t- traditionally depicted yeah. as being located in the US state of New Jersey. Right. Thank God we got to the bottom of that then. So it's not actually a place, it's a fake name. Right. Is that right? Well, I've just read that, but it if doesn't it's mean depicted, anything. It's like Why is it written, written in? Like, it? Who knows? A depiction. You learn something new every day. Yeah, I'm, going with, I'm going with Batman. I'm going with the Batman stuff. Yeah, but I guess yeah. when people are doing bats, that what well, that's what it means. And it was San Diego Wave who won the league. I remember that because I feel um, like that wasn't even celebrated because it was Casey Stoney's team. Yeah, yeah. So they won the league, and then it's like, oh, well, here we have the championships. And then Sanders. Gotham won the playoffs. So I, you were right about that. Right. Um, lots of people saying Gotham or Bay can go on and win the NWSL this season, but we promise you now to get better and then. Um, you know, be better. Yeah, we'll start learning it, keeping our eyes on it. Um, will I do that? Mm. Don't really know, but I'll try. Give us a like it's and really give us a subscribe. Times and all that, you know? I'm busy. Cass, like I'm trying. Say, all you've done is sat in a car today, come home, jumped on the bike, I, I talked about waiting yourself. I couldn't sit in the car just on the phone looking at NWSL, could I? Striving. Had passengers. You've had hours. You've had hours. I, I had hours. to train, I've had to do stuff. But I'll start now. How's your week? I don't really know right now. I know, this is true. It's not this is, this is the time to yeah. learn. Oh, some people are asking, would you go to the NWSL? When I was younger, America didn't really interest me. But as I've got older, I'm like, yeah, I'd be more open-minded. But would my body handle all the travelling, all the flights? The pace. Time differences. All, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes the artificial turf. Would that be a recipe for disaster? I don't know. But I mean... Never say never. Never say never. Maybe when I'm 38, I'll you get signed never for... Never say never. Gotham Batman, boys. Gotham Bats with Rusha. Gotham Bats. <laughs> just hanging a bit upside down. Mm. That'd be a good celebration. Yeah, just get on a goalpost just and just get on like a goalpost and yeah. hang upside down. Yeah. A bat. I probably wouldn't score, so I'd just go to the goalpost and just do it. Do it anyway. Just do it anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's or just like, you could go to the dugout because uh-huh. you'd obviously be on the bench uh-huh. and just mm-hmm. hang in the dugout. The dugout, like, that's <laughs> Manager comes out, I'm like, with wings on, Cass. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance? 
Is she okay? Yeah, she's just been a bat for Gotham Bats. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. She's batshit. Put the bat in batshit. Would you miss me if you went? <laughs> no. I'd probably not speak too much, in fairness. So. I'd okay. be really busy studying in NWSL. Very much so likely. Mm. Um, how's London City getting on in the league just now, Rish? Uh, we're ninth. The comeback is on. Did you just laugh? <laughs> ninth. No, I didn't. I just expected to be a bit higher. I don't know. No. Maybe I've got more faith. No. Than... And it was games there. I should. <coughs> there was games there. <coughs> Excuse me. Redden beat Charlton, which right. was a big shock. Yeah. So that keeps interesting again at the top end of the, the table. Um, did something else happen? Anyway, we've got Sunderland on Sunday. Right. Sunderland on Sunday. Sunderland. Sunderland on Sunderland. Sunday. Is that how they speak? Sunderland. Sunderland on Sunday. Sunderland. Sunderland on Sunday concert. Cheryl not from yeah. Cheryl. Was she not from Sunderland? Sunderland on Sunday. No. <laughs> Sunderland on Sunday. <laughs> Don't really know, Cass. Why? I? Anyway, we've got them. Why I'm man? Um, so it's gonna be a tough game. Tough team. They've been. I think people probably, you know, thought they might have dropped off, but they've not. They've just been boom at it, staying mm. at the top end of that table. Yeah. So credit to them. So it's going to be a very difficult match. But I was actually thinking today, if it keeps pissing down the way it has, will the game be on? But I hope so, because I'm really looking forward to um, a kickabout. Yeah. Looking forward to a kickabout. So um, tough game for us, but two tough weeks, actually. Sunderland then Charlton, so big, big old games here. We didn't really... I know we mentioned that Mitchie scored that rocket yeah. to win the last game. Mm -hmm. um, and you'd mentioned just that in passing that you felt like he's needed that moment. As a team. Did I say that? Yeah, like just that right. like celebration and like mm. you needed that like confidence boost and maybe that'll like... You've just made this up because I've not said any of this. You did, what, you I, said I it downstairs. I didn't say that. Not today, but you did. You said it the other day. Mm -hmm. You were like, maybe as a team, like, we needed no, that like I've moment. Said, to... I think we needed somebody to do something. Okay, so, so Mitchie's scored, it took like a moment of magic. So is That's that, what I mean. Is that so, not literally what I've just said and you've made it out loud, I've pulled no, a language you went, out Mars? The celebration, we needed the celebration. I was like, like the freak. moment, you needed the moment. Um, we needed, no, we needed someone to do something special or else mm. we'd have been probably walking away. Well, we got one back, didn't we? But we'd probably left the game with a draw. Right. Or on a different day, we bloody got beat. We would have conceded the last minute, being us, Cass. Because um, even that game we conceded right before half time, and you're going, mm -hmm. oh, here we go, <clears throat> same old. Yeah, but um, we got it together. Manager calmed us down, told mm -hmm. us keep doing what we're doing, and um, but yeah, that's what Mitchy absolutely better for Mitchy. So sometimes that hopefully that can be what am I trying to say? Hopefully that can be the turnaround that we're looking for, mm -hmm. and we can start picking up some points. But it's going to be very difficult. Two big games, but. Would rather play the bigger games. Yeah. Yeah, so. Get you pumped. Yeah. Um, you went pumped. You went pumped 10. You went to me a big pumped. game. Um, where do you, who do you think might go up? Okay, I'm going to stick with Palace right now. Right? Yeah. I think for their squad that they have right now, I think they're looking in a good place. In terms of teams at the top end of the table, I don't think anyone plays like amazing football mm -hmm. like nobody bops you about the pitch but Palace are getting comfortable like moving the ball about yeah. and then they turn teams quite quick mm -hmm. um, and they've got a goal scorer up front a um, few good young players coming through and a bit of experience in there too so I think I've been more impressed with Palace out of maybe anyone mm -hmm. so I think they'll can they do it, it interesting? in um, the top flight? Like, look at Bristol this season. From it's a big ass. It's a totally different story. That's that's where I'm like... Sometimes I don't think people realise the difference from the Championship and the WSL. Do you know what I mean? I think if Palace went up there, they couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big teams, and I don't know. Hmm. And maybe some people's heads, they think, no, we can, we can, but you can't. You, you have to kind of... It's a different pace. It's a different level. Um, the players are better. So I think there's got to be like Bristol or like try to cling on, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, for now it looks like it's, it's going to be a struggle for them to stay up. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's still mm -hmm. you know a number of games to go where anything can happen. But, but Palace, like they've got a good, good place. Squad. And then they've got a squad and all. But Palace, I'm saying, if they did go up, I think they're, they're a team that are wanting to go places. So they would obviously then maybe bring Invest. in a few more players, a couple of big players maybe. They've obviously got a big squad. I don't know the story of the contracts and all that, but. Um, mm. 
They, they, yeah, I'm going to stick with Palace right now. West Ham have turned it around too, you know, mm. started to pick up some points because for a while they looked in serious doubt. Um, and you look at last season where Leicester were, mm -hmm. you know, always relegation threat. Now they're in a semi-final, they're climbing the table. Um, it feels, this is, this is a strange one to talk about, but I think we should mention it because it is in the news. Um, the allegations against Willie Kirk and the investigation into him and the assistant manager taking charge of the FA Cup game at the weekend and now they're through at the semi-finals. But um, all that is under investigation just now. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's quite a tricky thing to talk about because we can't go into much detail. Mm -hmm. Um I probably can't ask you this question because you're yeah. a player, so you're kind of... Yeah, I can't really say anything about it. If it. Yeah, can't really say anything about it right now. Um, I'm live also, so I really can't say anything I about know. it. So I'll leave yeah. that with you and your... Yeah. It's an interesting one because, you know, if it's a consensual relationship when people are of age and adults and whatever like that, then it happens in all areas of life. It happens in all workplaces, you know. But then also, is it just like that? You know, when when does it when do the grey areas happen? When does the line get crossed? Um, there's been a couple of stories now that start to circulate, and I would say it's a, I'd say it's a bit worrying. You know, mm -hmm. I would say it's worrying, and in this world now, you have to be whiter than white. You know, and if there's a if there's a look at this and things don't work out it could be it could be very damaging i'd say there's a few squads. people out there with squeaky bum time gas is what i would say um mm. but yeah can't really say anything about it so okay Moving i on. just felt i wanted to mm -hmm. mention it before we moved yeah. on because it's like the elephant in the room almost from the news mm -hmm. the last couple of days um anyway we have spoken about it and now we will move on um what else do you want to talk about can i tell you what happened to me today oh what <sighs> I went for my laser. Oh. Have you had laser? If you know, you know. Mm. Right, this is... So see if you... If you are you going to get it done? It, right, no. so if you get it done, just remember, it's like having a baby. I've not had that either. Right, so... Every In terms of... It's not like that, but you're talking about how you're... How you're lying there, how you're sitting there. Oh, completely exposed, right? Your gammon is out. Your gammon is mm -hmm. on. The table. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it's getting zapped. It's getting zapped. But today, Russia was horrendous. Her mm. Absolutely horrendous. I thought I was going to start crying. So you said you're on your periods also, that's why? So you're it's extra worse. sensitive and you're yeah. extra height, like sensitive to pain. Oh my God, if you know, you know. It was so sore. <laughs> and I actually thought I was going to say, right, just call it quits. We're yeah. done now. Like, I don't care. Uh -huh. I'll have a big batchy bush uh -huh. for the rest of my mm -hmm. life. I'll be okay. It was the most agonising thing. Mm -hmm. Lying there, legs akimbo. That's a good word, isn't it? Kimbo. Legs akimbo. The gel. The, the, this woman, like, she must see it all. Mm -hmm. Just a bit an eyelid. Yeah. Shaving my bum and all that. That's nice of her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you shave my bum? If you wanted me to. I know you're a bit creepy. You keep trying to flirt me now, so I'm like... Sometimes when Rush is in the kitchen, yeah. I'll be like, we're smashing it as a good lesbian couple today, mm -hmm. aren't we? Like, lesbian yeah. co-parenting. And if Jamie's mm -hmm. not home and, yeah. like, you're doing something with the kids and I'm, like, making the dinner, I'm like, we're such a cute lesbian couple, aren't we? You do freak me out a wee bit. Do you think we could yeah. be, like, the island twins? Well, as far as I'm aware, they're not sleeping together, but they're just weird. They do weird things. Yeah, like, even you doing that right now is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I just love you. Creepy. I just think you're so pretty today. Baby, you're the best. Baby, you're the best. starting to unbutton your top. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice making you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, some people saying I thought going for a wax was bad. Imagine getting nettles. I was trying to think. Shoving them up your gooch. Just someone whipping it. Whipping <laughs> it off your bare noonie. <laughs> Just standing there with a pile of fresh nettles. Mm. And with, 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 with. For like we twenty do that for a dear one minutes, day. like if we lose something, that's a good one. What get get nettles and just stuff? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be a bad girl. <laughs> that is torture. That we'll was go live for that today. one too. We're going yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> that was pure evil. Yeah, pure evil. And the woman was so lovely. She was so sweet, and she yeah. had the most sensitive 
like gentle little voice and she was like is everything okay mm-hmm. and i was like oh no, brilliant bits sweating absolutely yeah. dripping with sweat yeah. oh it was just horrendous oh well the whole that's thing good that you stuck stuck to it and got it done into it it's called the hollywood the hollywood the hollywood the full right. shebang mm-hmm. off oh. so i'm in i'm in um that was round three i yeah. think of seven right something like mm-hmm. that but i've noticed a, b- a big difference uh-huh. but geez louise man today mm-hmm. rush you wouldn't and have made you it through on your hairy nipples yeah. no <laughs> well you'd know mm. <laughs> oh god! Right. How long have I been here for? Tell me a story. Um, who have you got the weekend again? Sunderland. 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 <laughs> What's the people saying? So, god, anyone just logging in and thinking this was a football chat, <laughs> getting whacked in the nooney with nettles. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. We're absolutely fine, but um, listen, it was painful. So anybody, if you're on and you go for your 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 laser, just be extra it's aware. Like it's going to be hurting. Maybe take a couple of paracetamol. Maybe I should oh, have done that. Idea. And actually relaxed a little mm-hmm. bit, or I don't know. Maybe I had, had a bottle a glass of wine before I went in. I had like, a go glass for it. of wine, few tablets. Oh, I was just a wee shot of tequila. Bloody mess. I was yeah. absolute straight. I was, mm-hmm. and uh, and then I said to her, I was like, I'm on. So like, yeah. And she's like, Do you have a tampon in? And I was mm-hmm. like, yeah. And she's like, that's great. And I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> Can I see it? <laughs> and she did. Okay, she got to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to dip this in acid and just <laughs> smack you multiple times. I don't know where her accent's from either. That's um, don't that's get my, out much. It's my Sunderland don't accent. Don't get much. What's happening with this girl's trip? What this girl's one you trip? told me you've got a girl's trip coming up. Not the hen. What's this now? He says you've got a girls' trip. Well, you might be going somewhere. With a football team? Mm-hmm. No, we're just going to Dublin. Um, Tell us everything. I can't, oh, can't be saying dates now. You'll be setting me up for people to... You know? What? Meet you? Aye. Sweep you off your feet? Aye. Hit you with the chat-up lines about Bobby's Dublin? I've a belter of a story and I can't even say it right now. I need to wait for a while for it to die down. Absolute belter. What is it? I can't tell you. Who's it about? Doesn't matter. I'll tell you later. I've told you already, but I can't get into detail right now. Oh, belter of a story, but anyway. Like, don't forget, I'm writing um, this down. Belter of a story. But yeah, um, me and a few of the girls will be going on a a retreat to Dublin <laughs> to see our father. Right, okay. Hail Mary. Um, yeah, but um, we're, we're only going if we actually pick up points or else we're not allowed to go. So we have to win some games. Mm-hmm. If not, I'll be going nowhere. Oh, that actually makes sense. I yeah. feel like that is a good reward. Yeah. Actually, you should probably wait till you finish the season before you have any sort of fun. We can't. It's just there was a there was a weekend and it's we're able to make it work. Um, and it was before all the changes that happened. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of those things. But yeah, if we hopefully can win some games, touch wood, man. Touch and wood. um, and then we might be able to go touch on our wood. little holiday. Can I come? No. You'll be working, Cash. You've got wains and all that. <laughs> I can still get a weekend off if I plan it. Mm. Why would you Can't not let me come? Because you're a bit clingy. Oh, but they're vlogging it. You're yes. vlogging. Just like, uh-huh. subscribe. Just bye. And you probably ruin the night. You're two glasses of wine and you blow. It's hot. I'm not like so, that anymore. God knows, Cass. See, I drink God my water knows. between. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if you'd cut it. That's if I come back from Cheltenham alive. Alive at all. Are, so what you're staying up there? there? So you can you I have fail a out the helicopter. Are you going to have a drink up there? <laughs> Oh, go on a horse for laugh. No, I'd like to see you get kicked off the horse. When we were young, we used to go horse riding, mm. and um, I'm so allergic that it's like allergic. it's like on the verge of death mm-hmm. type things. I'm so asthmatic, it's never left me. And um, even like now, if I went into somebody's house mm, next door, man's not hot, never hot. And, okay, and mm-hmm. there's a dog. Pure asthma attack material. You're, yeah. the, you're the same. But the horses dogs, were. It depends. The horses it were. Was your bad. Aunt, you used to actually go. Sorry, she used to go horse riding with a pair of speedo goggles on, um, and it still wouldn't help. You'd still get still eyes. Give it a go. To be fair, come up to here. Mm-hmm. Still happens with me at times with cats or whatever. With the old eyes, but what can you do? What can you do? Imagine me just walking about Cheltenham tomorrow with goggles on. Oh, do it for a laugh. You Up probably have to get close to some horses and do it, see what happens. Cheltenham's massive. I won't be near any horses. Well, you know, I doubt it's it. A bit pish. I'll probably be in the Guinness tent 
that's where like the magic happens in the Is Guinness it? tent. Have you seen the pictures of the Guinness tent? No. Wait till I show you this. I, I always see it here. Oh, I'd love to go. Can't ever really go because we're always in season, but um, have I got any days off coming up? I'm off on Thursday, Cass. Cass! Should I come up on Thursday? You come up and look at that. No, I'm in training on Thursday. I'm off on look Friday. at the Guinness tent. So basically, Alan Brazil has a spot there every day at 10 o'clock. All oh, right. So just talking fish. That's where we'll be. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. That's where we'll be. <laughs> yeah, that would have been fun. Could you have got me in? Maybe. Maybe not. I can get you in on Friday if you want to come up. Craig David is performing. Is it? Yeah, what is it? I'm in on Friday. Mm hmm. No, I'm in on Thursday. I'm off on Friday. What's my schedule? Maybe I'm in on Friday. Let me have a quick look. I can't remember because we've got the two days off. Rebecca's asking if I die at Cheltenham, does Jamie get custody of Rusha? Oh. Just imagine that like, I died at Cheltenham and then you two ended up together. Yeah, I'm off on Friday. Well, I, I could potentially... Breezed over that one. Slag. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said if I die at Cheltenham and then you and Jamie end up together. No. Why not? What's no, wrong with that? No, he doesn't do it for me. I know. Bless him. Why does he not do it for you? That's so out of order. He he's could be watching this now. I know. He's I just doubt he's watching it. I bet he's watching football. Private school boy, isn't he? I know. Embarrassing. He wasn't really, though. He grew up in Luton. Mm, Tough man. But then he went to private school, didn't he? Yeah, but that's not his choice, is mm, it? Well, I wouldn't have done that. Is that his choice? Aye, it's just a few things. Need to get him in the gym and all. <gasps> <laughs> You're living in his house. Imagine he just came in here and went, right, that's it. Pack your, your shit. Bags are packed. Bags are packed. I don't ever leave. 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 <laughs> just imagine. I put that. Guys, mm. guys, don't mm. fight. Are you going to tell him about this? He might just watch it back. I have no doubt someone will clip it up bags. and send it to him. Mm -hmm. Anything that's said about him gets mm -hmm. out there now. Someone I'm put sorry, on. Dad didn't mean that. Somebody put on my Instagram. Um, I posted pictures, mm. right? I can't remember what it was. Put yeah. a picture of him up and people are like, well, if he can get her, there's hope for me. <laughs> how's this guy pure punch and all that? And he's just reading it like, how is this even, how is this even fair? And I'm like, just ignore them, Jamie. Do you just think it gets them now? A wee bit, because he, he gets bantered for it. Right. From his friends. Oh, is he? But obviously, it's like you get bantered all the time for not being as good looking as me. You know, you get on with it. You live to deal with it, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'm much better than you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you are. Give me a like if I'm fitter than Rusha. You put more effort in. If I was to go and get done up... Go get then done I'd up then. I can't be arse sitting Been here. Been it for ages. Sitting there with your big shiny, massive head and your big mm. squeggy teeth. Not to mention you're getting fat. <laughs> here, I've had the munchies this week. I must be joking at that. <laughs> Ooh, I know. I've had absolute munchies. Um, do, they, look, do they count your body fat and all that? Training, no. Uh, yeah. Is that a bit different now? Yeah. You get like a, we get like a DEXA scan, it's called. Do, um, when you get next to the scales, does it say one at a time, please? One at a time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry for funny. <laughs> do you know what that means? Aye. <laughs> honestly. You're banter, man, honestly. Hi. <laughs> I've got a real, I've got a real mm. buzz for myself. Mm -hmm. Real buzz for myself. Uh, yeah, some people are saying you first, but come on. I mean, I know you feel, they feel sorry for you because you're you get dumped and all that and <laughs> living at my house and <laughs> you're not as good and all that. <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> you're going to be fine. I know, I probably will. Um, I don't know how long I'll rip the arse out of this for. Um, I've been here <laughs> nearly a year. Isn't Maybe a year, yeah. nearly a year, I'd say. Man, um, time flies when you're having fun, guys. <sighs> but maybe I, maybe after summer, we'll see what happens and all that. But if you keep trying to hang about me all the time, I'll be gone. Like that. I think at the very least, I deserve an invite to one of your trips, considering. Cause you I'm like your mum. Would you like to come away? Yes, would thank get, you for the invite. With the, with the London City girls, we would have fun. Me and G. Right, I'll let me, her know. G, Shani Boy Alorca. <laughs> I'll just say her name all the day. Shani Boy Lorca uh -huh. is the best name ever. Uh -huh. Who else? Shani you don't even know who's going. I'll guess, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Considering I know your team, I would have said mm -hmm. it's a few of them. But mm -hmm. anyway, me and G would be tight. How is G? Um, I I've not seen her. I've seen that her um, and Grace Molyneux got an ear piercing today or something. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. it's because she's getting all lesbian. 
I think. So Lucia? Lucia? Yeah. You turn on her finally? I think so. I think that's what, probably you, what's happening. What, you now you're a lesbian? Is that how it works? Uh-huh. Well, it wasn't just one of those wee ones. Is that full cut? It's like here, so I don't know where it was. Yeah, but yeah, clearly. Gay alert. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to say that. I'm not. Remember, you're live. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I don't know. Somebody I'm may gay. be offended. Sorry if I've offended you by calling anyone gay or alerting the gays. I am also gay. I don't know. I just, it's okay. It's just sometimes I don't know what to do when everyone talks about gays. Why? Because I think I'm in the closet. <laughs> really? <laughs> just imagine I grew up one day. Imagine and I was one like, day. Yeah. That's it. I'm mm-hmm. into the girls. Into the girls now. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> You need to top your Botox up. I know, I've not oh, been for my top, top up. Is that what happened? You've been for a... No, I don't go for my top up. Otherwise, I find it's too yeah, much. It's should. a bit too stuck in time. You should. Is Honestly, it you think it's bad? I'm only on day that, four. Right, yeah. Yeah, just round here. Because if you were right. to raise and that doesn't set, it Maybe would be... we could be... have just booked Dan to come in tonight and I'd be talking. Do it live. That'd be some... fun, yeah. I think you do that next time. Yeah. Have you got anything else you want to talk to me about? I feel you're just trying to get away from me. What's wrong? Don't touch me, you freak. What is it? Um, there, there's nothing wrong. I'm just looking forward to getting into... Well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in and I'm going to brush my teeth, wash my face, jump in the shower and get into bed. I'm really looking forward to just watching the episode. I'm on the last one. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So... What's the story about? Like, it. So it's these gangsters, but is it ending on like some sort of... I don't really know what's going to happen right now, but it could be... I, I've got an idea, Cass. I've got an idea, but... Uh, you should watch it. You should watch it. Uh, Natalie Everett has a good question. Yes. If you guys weren't siblings, would you date each other? Oh, Christ. Don't have tell, it. Honestly. Natalie, why are you being as freaky as her, honestly? <laughs> sort tell, out. Tell, um, tell Natalie what your therapist said. Go on. <laughs> tell everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell God, her. I have to text her back. Jesus. Sorry, therapist. Um, she once said that maybe I was looking for somebody like Siobhan. Mm-hmm. Um, what was that again? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was it. Basically, maybe I was looking for somebody like my sister. And she I said, to... maybe because you went to live with Shaban and you take so much of Shaban's advice mm-hmm. and she is so good looking, maybe you want to be with someone just like your sister. And do you think that's the case? I would be okay with that mm-hmm. because perfection. So you are going to look at other a- avenues. Let's say, right, she's a bit like perfect, like Sheb, so, mm-hmm. you know... Mm-hmm. Ever thought about the D? <laughs> <laughs> See, this I mean, little, like, would you uh-huh. would you date a guy again? No, because um, you did. She used be, to date that date guys. Like op- open minded about it, but I don't think I'll ever like um, fall in love with AI. You can what never say never. Now. What you never say never. never. Because you always said that you would fall in love with a person, but you just had a better connection yeah. with girls. Yeah. So what if you met a like really girly a... guy? And you're like, <laughs> he's brilliant. What, what, like, a, a girl that was transitioning? If you had... Yeah, if that happened, yeah, but I'm just talking about, like, a girly mm-hmm. guy. A girly guy? Like, uh-huh. who? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Do you think any guys are good-looking right now? Oh, yeah, but I always think guys are good-looking. Because you appreciate people who are good-looking. Yeah, like, uh uh-huh. yeah. But anybody who go, he's a bit, he's a bit more right. Jude Bellingham. <gasps> Everybody likes mm. Jude Bellingham at the minute, eh? He's a bit fantastic. But he's young, Bruce. Yeah, he is young, but do you know what? You make would make great babies, Cass. <laughs> wouldn't we? And he could probably kick a ball. Probably could. Probably would say I don't be football. But He's I got mean, a little brother, by the way. He does. He's in Sunderland. Fo- yeah, yeah. Or oh, do you think he'll be coming up the women's team for a game? Why for not? Kick about? Job Bellingham, if you are watching this and you're in Sunderland this weekend, <laughs> <laughs> take her off my hands and set her up with your brother. Right. But then. Jude would run away with me. No, it would be probably inappropriate, wouldn't it, though? A wee bit. The, the ages and all that. Did you see a reporter asked to go home with him? I saw uh, that. That uh-huh. did make me laugh. Yeah. And it was about her wee boy, wasn't it? She was talking about her wee oh, boy. Really? She's so like, would you come even... home with me? And he was like... Oh, right, so it wasn't even creepy. He's brilliant, he by the way. Yeah. He's brilliant. I mean... <sighs> Captain of England, future, all that oh, kind yeah, of stuff. Be. He will And you're be. right, he's an absolutely fantastic looking man. Uh-huh. Uh, do you want me to just give you some lovely comments before we go? Hey, go on. Considering you've been a, an average I've of been five, on this for an hour. You've been about a five out of ten today. Rush, I get a wee five mil top lip filler. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Chloe. Chloe. Uh, that's, that, she said that to me. Apparently, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you get a wee lip? I don't really know. Where'd you stop then? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You'll probably end I up don't getting your hits done next. I'd get my boobs done. You should. 
Stones in a bin bag. Stones in a bin bag, man. Picture it. Yeah. Um, Amy says Rue all day, every day. Um, I want to see Rusha without a ponytail next episode. You're telling me? See that fucking ponytail? Oh, but cut it off in her like sleep. Doing my hair for this? I need to go to the hairdressers. It's actually, that's what I have to do. So I'm going to do this. What are you going to get then? Probably just get like an undercut. <laughs> and then just get like maybe a, a fade. That's what I, I don't know. Because I'm like, did I just get the undercut or did I go fully all out? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Um, no, I don't know. I just need to get it tidied up for when it's down because I can't really put it down right now. I have an idea. Shite. I have a little idea. Uh-huh. How about a little extension? Oh, it's a pure effort. It's not. Because it if you get them in, uh-huh. right, go to Mike, he'll do mm-hmm. them for you. Say you get 30 bonds in, mm-hmm. like the good, the good bonds. bonds. Right, they're colour uh-huh. matched and then they just they grow in as normal but because you've got nice hair and you look after your hair, you'll be fine. I totally look after my hair. And then the difference of even a nice thick ponytail. Mm hmm. And then also mm-hmm. maybe we could get a wee feather down here so you right. don't look like fucking grease lightning. Grease lightning? <laughs> no, really? Right, maybe we'll do that. Get a and, price off your, your bum, bum fringe and all that. That's yeah, that's disgusting. That's the shame that this, I know, happens to me. No, it won't stay up. It only stays up when I've got a lower pony in. You need, um, it's a real tough time. You need a little um, clasp. By the way, speaking of hair, what's that yeah, stick you use from, the, from Hayley Nolan's sister? Um, oh god, what's it called? <clears throat> um, sleek, sleek, sleek and sleek, easy, sleek easy. Um, is that their? Is that theirs? Yeah, it's just like a wax stick for your hair. Uh huh. And it holds all the flyaways on. It's absolutely Mac. excellent. Yeah. Can you not do it under there? No, it doesn't, doesn't really work it. for me. No, you need I've tried it before. I've not. I do the curb and it falls out still. Right. Or it no, it kind of goes up right, and then these wee bits fall down. So I still look like a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> So, what's that? You just <laughs> absolute liability, or something. Mm, I did whisper it, so hopefully, <laughs> like a piece of it. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 right. What? Oh. <laughs> 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 you... <coughs> your soul left your eyes there. It's like you'd said something wrong. A bear I hope you're not in a bear. Oh, God. Look at the state of me. Anyway, what's in this wine? I've only had one glass. glass. Right, okay. Anyway, like, subscribe. I'm sorry, there was nothing absolutely useful coming out of that conversation, but. Anything you want to say before you go, Rush? Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, stick with us. <sighs> I think you know by now. If it's anything serious, I'm probably. I don't. I don't know. I don't really care um, unless it really interests me. So when she <sighs> pulls me down to sit and chat about stuff, if my head's not really in it, I'm sorry. But um, it might be some nights. But thanks for watching. Have a lovely night. Stay safe. Stay humble. <laughs> And we'll be back with you very soon, probably at the weekend. And I'm going to be back. You're not in on Friday night, but I'm going to do a little watch along of the Friday night game. So we will see you then. And uh, lots of love. Like, subscribe, and thank you very much for coming on with this. Oh, you're doing a little love heart. I thought you were in something else completely inappropriate. But um, 